16 is here. Get ready for sneak peek number one in Clash of Clans. Let's zoom down here. Take a look at it. We can now upgrade Town Hall 15 with 20 million gold. And there is Town Hall 16 right there. It is a nature theme. So what is your guys' thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But before we upgrade that, let's zoom out on this base and notice how I divided it up. If I go right through here, everything in this circle, this square, is everything that will upgrade in Town Hall 16. Everything on the top side will not receive an upgrade, which means that there will be 150 walls. Heroes are going to go up five levels. Wizard Tower air defense motor bomb tower expo even the laboratory <laughs> barracks pet house the barracks and pet house we will cover in a future sneak peek of what's coming there so don't miss that make sure you guys are subscribed and we got a couple traps as well so let's go ahead and upgrade this now to town hall 16 and there we go it is now town hall 16 oh my this is is insane look at this the newest town hall and it's only level one but notice you can't upgrade this to level two so town hall 16 is only a level one maybe in future updates they will increase the level of the giga tesla at town hall 16 we'll have to find out but now let's look at the new defenses and their new looks the wizard tower going from level 15 is upgrading to now level 16. the air defense from level 13 is upgrading to level 14 at town hall 16 the mortar from level 15 is also going up to level 16 we got an upgrade for the bomb tower going from level 10 to level 11 the expos going from 10 are going to be menacing at town hall 16 going to level 11 here good luck with your queen charges the laboratory going from level 13 is going to level 14 here giant bombs from level nine will go to level 10 let's finish that off and i don't really notice a difference here from nine to ten visually so let's go take a look at the bomb from a level 11 to level 12 pretty much looks the same what about an air bomb here let's go and upgrade this and finish that off and it looks a little different here at level 11 but still that's going to be very difficult to fly through let's go and upgrade some of these storages as well so you can take a look at how they are going to look like there's the dark elixir here is the elixir storage taking a look with the nature theme let's go ahead and upgrade the gold storage as well and then of course the walls uh well i can't upgrade that many in a row so i'll just go ahead and upgrade one of these walls nine million gold nine million elixir and there you go right there is the new maxed out wall you can kind of see it all together when i go in the info screen when i want to go and upgrade that but it's kind of like the town hall 11 vibes mixed with tunnel 10 and so this is what it looks like when you go ahead and upgrade everything except obviously these two buildings can't upgrade them just yet but take a look at that that is pretty sweet but one quality of life change that i really love when you go into your friendly chat and you do a friendly challenge and you go into here don't worry about the spinning circles that's just because it's the dev build so it looks weird but i can now put up a friendly challenge and i can attack myself yes look i can click attack and you can hit your own base hitting my own base this is crazy this is gonna be such a nice quality of life feature the troops receiving an upgrade include the barbarian the archer a giant a regular wall breaker slash super wall breaker also the balloon wizards a healer to help your queen charges of course a regular dragon the pekka The miners. The electro dragon. A dragon rider. The Valkyries. A golem, which will now spawn one extra unit when it dies. 
And of course, the witch. Some spells that are getting upgraded include the lightning spell. The heal spell. The recall spell, getting six more capacity to recall. And of course, the poison. I've got the balance changes up on the screen now and take a look at this. The raid spell tower radius is going down from six to five tiles. We've got the damage boost reduced from 90% to 60%, which means that everything is getting a lot easier to three star now in Clash of Clans. The air bomb's going down, the eagle artillery damage is getting reduced, town hall 14 and 15. Poison duration is going from 16 to 12 seconds, which means the poison is going to go away quicker. We have the town hall DPS, the damage per second decreasing. We have the inferno tower DPS also decreasing. The expo HP and DPS re decreasing. Oh my goodness. A lot of things are decreasing. The monolith, the scatter shot. The healers are less likely to target golems, golemites, and ice golems. That's nice. But the defensive Lava Hound has been reduced in a number of pups. The Ice Pup has also been reduced on the defensive side. Uh, let's see, some miscellaneous things. We have Clan War League seating. Weights have been modified from gold to and above. So that is nice. Hopefully it helps with uh, kind of mismatches. But then a ton, an absolute ton. You're going to have to go into the game and in the news tab, you'll see all these reductions in terms of the lower town halls. So if you are a lower town hall, you're going to be able to progress a lot quicker in Clash of Clans now.